Joe Smith Jr. Dimitri Fievel. He feels his way into a fight. Smith Jr. Talking during the week that he could get down to super middle. William Smith, you can see that every single time he pops out that circle around each other in centre ring, moving straight in behind the feels it. Yeah, I think that varying the power, varying the and Hopkins also beat. Area the speed and the power of shots. It's a good lead left hand from other guy to beat Joe Smith. It does vary in this opening round so far. It's come from yeah. Bivolt, fine yeah. a bit at times, but then they really put some meat on the bone. It's almost like you acclimatise the power when you get hit with... 20 or so seconds ago, Smith just trying to jab his way in, got caught on the inside. A few seconds, just heading up to the belt. The move, just packing with that lead hand, solid looking... The Bivol, but Bivol, good opening round of the ring, real good footwork as well. Kovalev, he was promoted. Standing in range or right on the borderline of it. Great intent. He does have a good reach on him. He does have the and a nice solid left up counter there. Lovely one two down the middle. Trying to get busy with the jab there. Certainly started the better here. Straight. He just moves in behind the guard and give a look to that range. And then Smith kind of getting caught in no man's land. Doesn't know whether to come up. But again, just looking to try and fire. Oh, Keep trying to use that jab. Let's go, Dog expression on his face. I wonder if... Uh, ...being hurt by anything. I mean, he's a pretty tough guy. But with anything. Devil just climbing in. Within range to be hit, but actually catching him is a, is a different... You know, good chin, takes a great shot. I just think that uh, he's very calm in there. Good combination there from Bivol. It's quite an Eastern European. Hey, you don't really get a moment's peace, or you certainly don't ever feel like. Yeah, and on the flip side of that, Bivol. Look. You know, looking at the two fighters hit. Again, the jab just looking to get through there. Warming to his. Well, he made it by a pound and a half. Pounds has just not been that much of this happened to give him during this fight. He will. Throw caution to the wind because preoccupied with his own defences that it's it's taken away. Got a little piece of his man there. He certainly feels that there's caught from Bivol, you know, just quick step, quick shuffle of the feet. Encouragement. Yeah, I don't think there's wanted to grab hold of Smith momentarily. Going up and down with the left, then turns it into a left. And I'm sure we will see him here, but he doesn't want to be too reckless, too gung ho with it at the moment. Big overhand right there. Landed, but uh People certainly look like you. That right hand. Prepared to take one to land one. Bivol. I wonder if it's been enough for him to, to win the round. I think you're right, Matt. I think he's realised that this is the way he's going to have to take two to land one, but he's got a lovely right hand there. He didn't have an answer to Bivol. Now it's just. Yeah, without he's got to rough him up. He's got to get close. He's got to use his. Keep this at range. Bivol too good. Too good at controlling the distance. Yeah, good. Much there, wasn't really quite room. Doesn't want to back up in straight lines, though. Just standing off, looking to try and measure him. That was interesting, though, Smith. Got to do this the hard way, as they say. He's got to make it a rough, tough. Good straight left. Jumping in with the lead left hook there. Win a technical walk distance. He needs to make it hot and heavy in there. He needs to make it on tight blows. Put their heads in there, elbows if you have to. Whatever he has to do, whatever he has to do. Tonight, WBA into out of double figures by the time he won the fight. Nice left hook there from Bivol though. It's good jabs going. Smith just walking after his. Did you call him? That's that's exactly what it is, and that's where you don't want to be. You're into a bit of a clinch. You don't want to, if you do come, then absorbing a good the eardrum is, is no joke. It could be a slight problem, but he's not showing any signs of it at the start of the New York State fighter from Long Island. During the, the course of the fight, and I may 
day it's a horrible injury happened to me a couple of times and it totally effect really affects everything big, big left left hand hand has rocked him now now but what it did do was tie bivol up but there's a minute and a smith again backs off himself tries to get that guard in hand and a lovely walk him onto a right hand as well ted has cleared now there were solid shots from bivol but he took them well bivol just circling east sullivan barrera and still sore out and the russian is looking to pour it on here Smith trying to answer back with a left foot. He's put a dent in his man there. There's that lead left hook. Great shot, that. Definitely. I don't think there's any question there that Bivol would have really realised the full extent of it, but I think Bivol there did. He was extravagant with it in recent rounds. And looking for that big overhand. The more combinations, he certainly put his foot on the gas and up the... Both of them just fencing. The jab, Smith. These are solid shots. But these are punishing shots. Goes down to the body now. Yeah, looking to bang that run. And back foot, that's what gives him such good mobility. Left. Joe Smith. Tough guy though, Joe Smith. Recovers very quickly. Punches round the back of the guard. Up to the head, trying to measure the... Nice jab from Smith. Good jab. It's round nine to each other. Uh, very well balanced, very technically well scored. There's a bit of a frustration. He saw an opportunity there just to make. Yeah, I like that lead, double left hook. Just backs Joe Smith up without even throwing a punch, just by fainting him, just by the way. An amateur career, 268 wins, 15 defeats. In the... Leaning in as if he's going to throw a shot. Two good left hooks. So there was no great shame good in that. Clubbing left hands. He mixes it up so well, he never becomes predictable. Head and body then, hooking off the jab. It's a good left hand as they can, and there's the body slap. Everything to Bivol apart from that drawn way. Yeah, I mean, Joe Smith's been competitive in every round. Bivol is by far the superior fighter, really. Well, I was just musing on that myself. When you compare him to Callum Smith, for example, I don't think he would be. Smith physically. <laughs> Heavyweight, huge for the weight. That's good work from Watch his feet when he pulls out of range, straight away he's looking to get back. Looking for that left hand there, missing to land one. It's not getting... Looking to make you pay, lovely uppercut there. When you find Disheartening them, making them feel, embarrassing them. Some of them are prepared to take pain, they've gone into the ring, they're mentally prepared. Paddy Golovkin breaks hard because he breaks ribs and he breaks noses and he puts a lot. Then, if a fight were to end in those circumstances, then... Or never for him. Available to the referee, it's not the case. See that from referees sometimes, they feel that it's unsportsmanlike, might be you just drop. Yeah, landed a really good right hand. Interesting there, Vivol just stuck out the left hand. I think a lot of guys like to leave the left hand out there, it does block the vision of the fighter. If it's view, I don't really see the problem. Nice combination there from Vivol. Yeah, I think so. It's been a good. It's, it's alarming and it's surprising how many times you just land that. But a good round this for Smith so yeah, far. Yeah, it's been a good round. The previous round hey, definitely, hey, hey. definitely shook him. A gong ho and try and fight fire with fire. That's nice right hand, left hook. Feet square there. Definitely hurt. Bit at the end of the two. It maybe hasn't been quite as explosive as with two. Too much. He hurt him with that left hand yeah Joe Smith is one of those guys he is a tough tough man no one's gonna in hindsight I think he was glad that that was on the bell Smith can produce something incredible in the last few seconds will be Alan's 33 years old lovely right hand left up there for Kovalev with a WBO Gavostik with a nice combination from Bivol pour it on and shots getting through there and maybe one just a little bit and still the WBO Evil!